looks at the CEO and joins us now. Hey, Dee. Well, John, it may be counterintuitive, especially in the current macro and inflation backdrop, to release a pair of higher price premium products. That is exactly what Sonos did today, though. Uh, the Era 100 replaces the Sonos One, but at a 14% premium, and the Era 300, that is a $450 speaker designed for a still niche spatial audio format. I asked Sonos CEO Patrick Spence what he's seeing that's telling him that demand will hold up at these higher prices. In calendar Q4, we saw that in terms of our ARC sales, um, which is a premium product, our sub, our sub MIDI, some, some of these products. And so we are seeing it. And, and I think the economy is bifurcating a bit, right, where you do see premium and luxury, you know, continuing to be pretty strong um, in the face of it. And then you see, you know, at the entry level as well, there's not a lot of middle ground, but we feel pretty good about the way we're positioned. I also asked him if he would consider a lower price product to capture another set of consumers, something that players like big tech, Amazon and Google have tried to do with their lineup of smart speakers. We're always looking at what are the right price points? How do we do that? If we could build something great for less money, we would do it. But I think as you've seen, you know, even from Apple with the iPhone, you want to be packing the latest and greatest technology and innovating. And when you do that, um, that comes at a cost. But mm -hmm. consumers have proven that they're willing to pay that cost for our products. And again, they last for so long. Sonos, of course, coming off a pandemic bump. And with the housing market softening too, Morgan and John, we will have to see if demand for those premium speakers hold up as well. Back over to you. We will keep an eye on it. Dear Jabosa, thank you.